We are here in Fort Lauderdale at the Huizinga Pavilion inside the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. We're celebrating the Ghost Light Society's decade-long mission of engaging and inspiring a new generation of performing arts supporters during the 10th annual Ghost Light Society Soiree. Soiree et Petit presented by Ultimate Software. It's a sellout tonight and we have our eye on it. Tell me what's happening here tonight. Well, tonight is the Ghost Light Annual Soiree. So Ghost Light Society is our young professionals group. It's uh, new leaders in the community and they have this event every year to support education programs here at the center. And why is it so important to have a group like Ghost Light here at Broward Center? Yeah, well, Ghost Light's become extremely important to us. They started back in 2009 because it was important to us to make sure that we were cultivating that next generation of leadership and support for the center. And uh, since 2009, this group has not missed a beat. They've just continually renewed their ranks, brought in new leadership, and continue to raise more money. And this year is their 10th anniversary and they're marking raising over a million dollars wow. for our education programs here at the Broward Center. So it's a great group. They're awfully self-driven and they throw a really good party. Heather, what an exciting night tonight for you and for your company, Ultimate Software. We're actually thrilled to be a part of this event. Uh, it's a really an exciting night for the Broward Center, not for us. We're just happy to support this important night for arts and education programming at the Broward Center. For sure, and so how long have you been part of the Ghost Light community? So I've been part of Ghost Light Society almost since the beginning, so I think I was a second year member, and then I quickly joined the board and was part of really building this great community of professionals that are supporting the arts in our community. And so why did you get involved? So really it was a fun thing. There were there were people that were um, that I was friends with that were involved already. I am a lifelong fan of the arts. I was on a track to be a professional ballet dancer and I knew how important the arts were in education. And it's just stunning to me that not everyone receives arts education programming um, in school. I was lucky enough to get that at private school, but I'm so excited to support this program that really helps everybody have access to arts education because we know how important it is in shaping young minds. Congratulations on your second year as co-chair. Tell me, why do you support the Ghost Light Society? Society and why did you take on a leadership role? It is so simple to answer that question. It's for the kids. This cause supports arts and education, um, a program that is an award-winning program hosted here at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. And every year, 150,000 students go through this program. It helps them with vital skills, development skills, and decision-making skills. And to be part of something as, that's such a great cause and has such a greater good, it just means the world to me. Oh, I can totally understand that. Well, who are these wonderful sponsors that are supporting you tonight? So we have some amazing, generous sponsors that have supported Ghost Light Society from year to year. We have our presenting sponsor tonight is Ultimate Software. Our platinum sponsors are Ackerman, Broward Health, Celebrity Cruises, LaCroix, Ashley and Matt Lindsay, Charles and Laura Palmer, Memorial Healthcare System, Merrimack Ventures, and Publix. And we also have some wonderful in-kind sponsors that donated decor and our spirits and a wonderful raffle item, Event Nerds, J.R. Dunn, and Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits. And we also have some amazing gold sponsors that also supported the event. Tell me why you got involved with ghost lighting. Um, so through coming to the Broward Center as I moved here from Ohio, um, I started to learn a lot about how the arts education programs impact the kids of Broward County. I come from a very small rural town in Ohio where we didn't have a lot of that arts education funding, so it was really easy to get behind. So this is your second year as co-chair of the Saray, and you've also been on the committee for two years as well. Tell me what goes into planning this. Uh, this is a year-long planning event, so right as, as soon as this event ends tonight, and next month we'll be planning next year's event. Um, everything you see here is part of all of the, the leaders and, and everyone from the host committee, so it's a huge team effort. In addition to the soiree, what else does Ghost Lighting do throughout the year? So the Ghost Light Society holds more than four pre-show receptions at the most popular Broadway shows per year as well. So for example, Les Mis was a couple weeks ago, and before that there's a two hour long pre-show that as long as you're a member, you're able to have open bar, free food, a really nice dinner, two hours before the show. So we do four or five of those per year. Another beautiful event right here at the Broward Center for the Performing Art. To get involved with Ghost Light, you can contact ghostlight at browardcenter.org. This is Christine Curran reporting for Ion South Florida.